Hello everyone, it's Nadie, and welcome back to Fake Ass, a series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be testing out this fake ass Laura Lee Los Angeles cat's pajamas eyeshadow palette. As you gorgeous people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. And of course, I do not support buying fake makeup. This is purely for your entertainment. We do not know what the fuck is in this palette, and you should always support the original artists. They are the ones that came up with this idea. They should get the mala. Anyways, before we get too far into this, I do want to say that, of course, I love Laura Lee. I mean, who the fuck doesn't? She is very sweet, but I could not justify getting the real palette. I wanted to do this full review on it. Unfortunately, because I have so much fucking makeup, I honestly had every single shade in her real palette, so I really couldn't justify spending that much money on something that I already have, which I know $40 really isn't that much money, but to someone like me, that is a lot of money. But because this channel was kind of built on reviewing fake ass products, I'm very curious to see how this little bitch holds up. I did get this from DHgate for $8 and it took around two weeks to get to me. Honestly, looking at this, this looks and feels legit. Like it has a very nice weight to it. Everything is very pretty. Like there's no blurriness whatsoever. The pictures are gorgeous. This metallicized front is stunning. Like this just looks like a good ass real palette. Taking the palette out of its box, the amazing this still is there like this looks so beautiful the glitter is very nice and it is stuck the fuck on there like it is not coming off on my fingers whatsoever it is just like a disco ball so pretty and at first glance I thought that maybe this palette was like a factory fuck up because it does look so pristine but I see that there's little chunks missing out of this and when we open it up the colors just are not as vibrant like to the naked eye it does look very good but then once you compare it to the real they're just not as vibrant and quirky spelled like irky so that that to me says this is not a factory fuck up. This is a full blown fake ass. A very good looking fake ass, but a fake ass nonetheless. I do also want to say that the shitty thing about going through a lab, which is obviously what Laura did, is it is so fucking easy for the fakers to then duplicate your product. I don't know why that is, but a lot of the fake palettes we've tried on here have been just as good as the real. However, I don't think that'll be the case for this because these are a lot less vibrant than the real. So I don't know. We'll see. But let's go ahead and swatch and do a look with these bitches. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatch and First up, we have Okie Dokie, Scatterbrain, Bomb Diggity, and Cray Cray. And I don't even think you can see Okie Dokie on there. This is just not off to a good start. All the shadows are really, really gritty and have basically no pickup whatsoever. Next up, we have Redonculus, Erky, which is supposed to be quirky, Kooky, and In One Ear. And these ones were honestly pretty okay. I mean, like usual with fake shimmers, they were actually pretty good. It just seems to be the mattes in this palette that are pure shit. And all of the mattes so far have been very difficult to remove off my hand with a makeup wipe it's almost like they leave a little bit of a stain behind yet they've only been on my skin for like seconds so that does make me a little bit nervous for this eye look but finally we have out the other and oddball and out the other is supposed to be kind of a shimmer and this had no shimmer in it whatsoever it was purely matte and oddball actually did have some pretty good pigment to it for being a fake black i did go ahead and prime my eyes and set translucent powder under them to catch any fallout and even though this is kind of basic ass palette like no offense to anybody i may want to do a few looks with this so We'll see how the quality is and then go from there. But like always, I do want to set my primer with a base color. So I'm just going in with some Okie Dokie on a nice fluffy brush. And we'll set that all over the primer just so it doesn't go all creasy on me. So I really can't tell if anything is going on. But as I'm swirling my brush around in this pan, little white flecks are appearing that almost look like cardboard. I don't know if that's what it is, but... It's not right. I don't think you guys will even be able to see that, but let me try to dig it out and see what that is. Okay, it is definitely like paper. At first I thought maybe the shadow wasn't mixed up enough, but this is like a solid thing. It's almost like cardboard or something is mixed in with this. That's a little bit scary. I think we're gonna stop with that color and go in with the next one. Let's try a bit of a bomb diggity as the crease shade. Um, I don't think anything is happening at all. Let me try really digging in there so that it picks up a shit ton. Holy shit. We'll just place that right there in the crease. If it's doing anything, it is very, very minimal. I think it is kind of the same shade as my skin, so I'm not really gonna see that much anyway, but... Ah, <sighs> uh, this is very disappointing so far. Let's try going over that with a bit of cray cray. That seems to be a little bit darker. Maybe we'll see that. Ooh, yes, I do see that one, but that is so fucking patchy. Like, it's stuck right there and won't even blend out. I guess we'll just try going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. I don't know what the fuck to do because it's just, like, stuck there. And then on this side, it's barely even showing up. So, like, what the actual hell is happening? Let's go ahead and take a little bit of whatever's left on the brush and go under 
underneath the eye here to start smoking it out. I don't even know if anything will show up. I just know that whatever the fuck is in this palette, it is turning my eyes red. They don't burn or anything, but they are turning glassy and red. Let's try a little bit of the darker color, Kooky, and we'll go right on the crease because we still don't really have a good transition shade yet. Ooh, okay, that does show up a little bit, but I packed so much fucking product on my brush, and this is all that I'm getting. And holy hell, is that patchy as fuck or what? And it's so difficult to blend out. Like, this shit is stuck right there, and it is not going anywhere. Meh, I guess we'll try to build that up, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more and put it right in the crease. This is just so... Ugh, you know what I mean? And of course, we'll bring whatever's left on the brush down to the lower eye because honestly, I don't want to dip another brush of mine into this. I feel like it's staining the fuck out of my good brushes. Oh, this is just so patchy. I mean, it is pretty. Like, I'm looking in my monitor and it doesn't look that bad, but eyeshadow should not be this difficult to blend out. And even though this palette is kind of a shitball, I think I do want to do another look after this, so I'm just going to play around with this. Let's try a little bit of in one ear and I'm just going to place that all over the eyelid. Oh my god, that follow out holy fuckery what the hell oh my and then to darken out the outer edge i'm taking a little bit of oddball on that same fluffy brush and i'm just gonna place it right there to add a little bit of depth to this look and once again this is patchy as fuck it is so difficult to blend out okay so i could line my eyes and put mascara and falsies on and make this a complete look but honestly i'm not even feeling it so i think i'm gonna wipe this off and we can create a second look i think i want a black smoky eye for that and we are back bitches that shadow actually did end up staining my eye and now it looks like I have some weird ass zombie virus but hopefully the shadows will cover that. For this black smoky eye I do have a damp brush and I'm gonna dip into this black shadow oddball right here and I'm gonna place that right on the lid and we'll kind of use that as a base. Ooh, damn that goes on really nicely when wet look at that. But we'll start with that and I'm just gonna blend those edges out and as this is drying I noticed that the black is really fading so this is some magic bullshit right here. Since what I got wet really isn't blending out at all. I'm gonna take that fluffy brush and put more black on it and I'm just gonna blend the edges out. It is super patchy but we'll try to work with it. Oh my god now the other eye just will not build up no matter how much product I put on there. It's just like not sticking. Also there's a loud ass fight going on down in the parking lot. I gotta check this out. Be right back. Whew, oh my god that was some intense shit right there. Bitches were pulling weaves out and everything. Fortunately I don't think anybody actually got hurt but they all went inside now and are probably having a big old makeup sex orgy, which is not sex with makeup. Goodness, this is making my eyes water really badly, but I'm gonna mix a little bit of kooky and cray cray on a nice fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna try to blend out the edges a little bit so that the only color isn't black here. I think this look might just be kind of a lost cause, but we'll dust away this translucent powder to start working on the lower lash. Oh, fuck, it's in my eye. Ugh, get out of there. Anyways, I'm just taking a little bit of that black and smoking it out. Oh, this corner edge right here, it just will not blend out this shadow is so difficult to work with. Typically I would line my waterline with black but honestly this shadow has my eyes feeling like they're gonna fall off so I am just gonna put a little bit of mascara on. Ooh, stuff is making my eyes water. Holy fuck. Ooh, okay eyelashes are on. That was so fucking difficult because my eyes are watering so badly that the glue would just not stick down so let's hurry up and finish this look. But before we do I was looking around for a blush to use and I came along this little sample pack which looks exactly like a mini version of Laura's palette. I just thought that was really interesting because it looks the same, it feels the same, so I know that's totally random, but I just thought that was really fucking weird. Anyways, for blush, I'm using this Essence shade right here. It's very pretty, very soft, very nude, and I feel like since our eyes are so dramatic, we need the rest of our face to kind of be on the chill side. For highlighter, I am going in with a shade that's in my upcoming holiday collection. Oh, yes, bitch, glow. For lipstick, I'm going in with this Yves Saint Laurent in the shade 212. It's this nice bluish kind of deep red shade. Oh, I fucking love it. And I know I did say I wanted the rest of the face kind of nude, but I just cannot leave my lips nude. I need me some color. Oh, yes, so pretty. Actually, no, in person this looks fine, but on camera this looks kind of revolting, so never mind, I'm switching it up. Ha, just kidding, we are gonna do a nude. It's either between this Tarte one or this Cargo one. This one's kind of gray and this one's kind of warm. Oh, choices. I think this Cargo will wash me out too much, so let's go in with Tarte's Salty. And here we are with the final look. Honestly, for being a fake, it's not that bad but just in general, it's not that good. Like, my eyes are watering like fuck. They've started burning. They were so splotchy. They were really difficult to blend 
out. I mean, I know this was only $8, but for $8, you could get so much better quality using single shadow pots. I think that even though this looks really good, it's probably one of the worst palettes we've come across quality-wise. Like, I understand if you can't afford Laura's Real palette, but I would probably stay away from this just because it's burning and because it's lacking pigment and quality. This little look we have was done with pretty much just a black eyeshadow, and I mean, you can go to Alta and get any black eyeshadow and recreate this, and you'll actually know what's in it, and your eyes probably will not feel like they're burning the fuck off. Do I call bullshit on this palette? I mean, it does kind of work, like you could make it manageable, but it's honestly not worth it, so I think I do have to call bullshit on it. If you want these colors, definitely check out Laura's Real Palette, otherwise search for single pots that are cheaper and better quality, because pretty much anything is better than this. But there you go, like always, please be sure to hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget, my newest collection of highlighters, including Nightlife, which does glow in the dark, is available at thepoplix.com. Also, my latest single, One Last Night, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future fake ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplix.com. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!